Good morning, Keller Williams Bluegrass. I have had quite a few people this week ask me about how to place their clients on DTD2, um, especially for those of you that are participating in bold and trying to hit your 100 contacts per week. This is a helpful tool for you to be able to reach out to the contacts that are within your database. So I'd like to kind of walk you through how to set up this process as well as introduce a smart plan that I created to help you keep in touch with those clients throughout the year. So if you will start by opening up command and going into your contacts applet, which is represented by the person icon on the left hand side within the command menu, this will open up your contacts. What we're then going to do is come over to where it says show one of 10 and we're going to increase that. So I'm going to click show 100 contacts. This is now adding 100 contacts per page, which is going to allow you to bulk select more contacts at once than if you had 1 to 10 selected. Additionally, I'm also going to come over to name and I'm going to select A to Z last name. And the reason we're doing this is because the D2D or DTD2 schedule is set up by first letter of last name. Um, you will see here in this other tab that I have the D2, DTD2 schedule. Try saying that three times fast. Uh, DTD2 schedule pulled up for you. This will be linked in the video description below for you to be able to access as you're setting this up in your own database. It breaks it down by week one through week, week 13, and you're covering two letters within your database per week. You'll also see that it has a percentage of um, the US population that tend to have names starting with those letters. All right, so you can see that this first week we're gonna cover A and W. And so I'll come back into my contact setting within command. And for this instance, I'm gonna filter mine just cause I'm using test. Um, test contacts for this. And so I'm gonna come in and filter my contacts for only test contacts. You should not have to do this step. All right, and so we're gonna do A and W today. So you can see that I have Captain America, last name starts with A, and Woody Woodpecker, last name starts with W. Um, and so what I'm gonna do now is after I've selected all of my contacts that have a last name beginning and with the two letters for the week, I'm gonna come up to the select bulk action button. I'm gonna click add tag. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to type in the tag for the week. So this one would be A and W. And obviously you can see I don't have that tag in my database already. So what I'm gonna do is hit create tag. You can color code this with whatever color makes sense to you. And then I'm gonna click create tag and submit. And now this tag has been applied once I refresh to those two contacts. I'll have to come back in and filter again for you to be able to see that. And now you can see that those two tags have the A and W tag on them. Additionally, if you're not wanting to utilize the smart plan and you're going to manually make these calls, you can come in and if I take that test icon out, it will repopulate my entire database. And what you can do is you can come in and filter for the A and W tag within your database. And it will only bring up the contacts that have those tags listed under their name. So now you can see that my Captain America and Woody Woodpecker tag are both showing up here for me to be able to contact them on week one of my DT D2. If you would like to help automate this or have it create tasks for you, I have created a smart plan within the smart plans library. You can come to the smart plans tab on the left. It is the fourth icon down. 
And if you come into the library and search KWBG, this KWBG DTD2 smart plan uh, is what I've created. There's six steps total. Three of those steps are just the delay between touches. This will give you three touches for each contact that is on it within a quarter. And then the smart plan is set to auto renew at the end of the quarter. So you're getting a task for a phone call, it's sending an automated email, and you're getting a task to send a handwritten card um, to each of the contacts during the week of DT, D2 that they are supposed to be reached out to. Um, I'll kind of show you the steps that are involved in this smart plan. So the first one is it's going to prompt you to call so-and-so. Then there's going to be a 28-day delay. Then it's going to send an email um, asking your clients if they need any recommendations for any vendors, contractors, even you know local restaurants for their next family get-together. There's then going to be another 28 delay, and then it's going to prompt you to send a handwritten note to those contacts. And then lastly, the smart plan is going to repeat and those prompts will show up again during quarter two and quarter three and quarter four and so on until you turn them off. So let's go back into smart plans. I've already added the smart plan to my library. It is here. And all you have to do is come in and click add contacts. We're going to search by tags. This week I want to add A and W. And we did purple. That's going to bring up the two contacts that have those tags. I'm going to click select all. We're going to click add to smart plan. It's going to tell me right now that I'm missing a phone number and this smart plan requires a phone number. Obviously with these characters that are being used as a test example, I don't have a phone number for these two, but you should have phone numbers for your contacts within your database. I'm going to click add to plan anyway. And then you have the option to either start this smart plan now. You can start this smart plan on a specific date. If you wanted it to start, for example, on November 1st, you could click November 1st on the calendar here. And then the other option that you have, if you're adding a lot of contacts all at one time, is to stagger this over a few days so that a specific number of contacts per day is being added. Let's say you want to contact... Um, Let's say you have 100 contacts with A and W and you're supposed to contact all of them within this week. You know, you've only got, you're only going to do it five days this week, Monday through Friday. You would want to put this at stagger and you would want to set it to 25 contacts per day so that you're getting, um, obviously right now it's I only have two contacts selected so it only lets me go to two. But if you had 100 contacts selected with this tag, you could put 100 contacts in and select 25 per day so that it's only prompting you to do these tasks for 25 each day during that week. Um, you're going to want to set up these tags. You can set up the tags all at once, but you will add to the smart plan at the beginning of each week following that DTD2 schedule that we looked at. And then once I hit, for example, confirm, I'm going to do start now. You'll then see if I come into my task. That I now have the quarterly call check-in for Woody Woodpecker and the quarterly call check-in for Captain America. You can also view these tasks on your KW Command app on your phone if that's easier for you than logging into your desktop. And as long as you have a phone number, you have the ability to call directly from your desktop or your phone within the KW Command app in order to reach out and complete those tasks. Once they're done, you'll come in and mark them as complete, and then it'll prompt you again after the delay in 28 days or so to send that automated email. If you have your email set up to send out automatically through command, that email will send on its own without you having to go in and do anything. And then a 28 day period later, it'll prompt you to send out a postcard. I hope this is helpful for you in helping reach out to your database and continuing to make touches. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out for me or 
please don't have say, hesitate to reach out to me. You'll find that DTD2 schedule linked below. If you can't access it, please let me know. Hope you all have a great day.